How's that? Is that's that okay? Fine. That's fine. All right. So, um, first of all, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Oh, my um, pleasure. I, I, you know, there's a lot of conversation about sort of the state of women's basketball, and it feels to me like the conversation revolves a lot of the time around treating it like this static thing. And so, you of all people have a full understanding of just how far the sport has come and continues to grow. Can you talk to me a little bit about just your thought in general to that state of the conversation and how tired you must be of having that same yeah, conversation? No, I think it's, you know, every, like maybe every generation, mm -hmm. you know, I think the 76 Olympic team had a great impact and great emphasis on putting the, the spotlight on women's basketball. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, you, I, I can't say enough for what they accomplished. They went in, you know, completely under the radar. No one expected them to qualify. Mm -hmm. And then, you you know, you look and there's been, you know, then there was the Delta States and then the Stanford had it and then, you know, Tennessee and UConn shared it. And those people like UConn right now, they set the bar. Right. And so the bar is set high and it should be set high. And so I think what the challenge is, is for, for all coaches involved from the high school level, you know, we know where the bar is. Now you have to step up immediately. And if you do that, then the future just continues to be very bright for women's basketball. When you think about the 76 team, you think about also the 96 team and what they accomplished as well. I mean, do you have you seen this each generation just follow and get get better within the generation? Or do you even think we see it year to year? I, I think what happens is that there are so many more opportunities now mm -hmm. for young girls, you know, AAU programs, you know, they're... Uh, I take the 76 Olympic team. We we did it by the seat of our. We had no scouting, no film, no anything. So everything was just you play them and you adjust and you do what you there. And I don't think uh, I think maybe half of our team had played in the Pan Ams or the World University Games. That was it. All right. So what's happened now each generation is you know there the, it's not like the players on the Olympic team. There would be players on the Olympic team that would still be stars today. And there's just every generation there are players that are good. Mm -hmm. And they're going to be good no matter what generation. The difference is each, what I see is I've seen from like the 96 team, we had, we had a, there was just a lot of them. Right. There's a lot, they're bigger, they're taller. They're quicker, they're not better, there's just more of them to pick from. And I, now, 20 it, years later, it's the same thing. And that's Title IX, right? That's, that's being Title able to discover in more of these Title talents that's to be able IX. to do it. Yes. When you look at the 2016 team, right, I, I mean, the challenge of picking that team, I mean, do, do you envy it? I mean, no, from a coach, that's that's wonderful. That's a, well, it's a choice. You like right. it. You know you've arrived when there's 30 people that any one of them can make it. Mm -hmm. You know, and one of the things we did, and one of the I remember very distinctly in '76, I didn't have a vote on the team, but I had a voice. And one of the things they did ask me was about finishing off the roster. Mm -hmm. And I knew that I, the, in the system we were going to play, that probably only nine, ten players were going to play. Right. So I said, let's pick the 12th player for the future. That mm -hmm. happened to be a 17-year-old named Nancy Lieberman. Mm -hmm. And I think that experience helped her. She had an impact in, you know, in, in, in helping the game grow. And this this team now, you know, look at what, what Adela Don, you know, yeah. uh, people associate with Adela Don, you know, uh, uh, Brianna Stewart, you know, there's someone that, that comes along and I think is just so good for the game. When you look at what those players are, is that the next evolution? You know, you have 6'4", yeah. 6'5", six, six, capable yeah. of playing right, everywhere on right, the court, right. right? I mean, do you yeah. think that is the new normal? Like when well, you think on the new, men's that side. Is new. That is new. No one wants right. to be a center anymore. No, uh, but <laughs> yeah. right, but do you think that'll become common? Like I look at like an Oscar Robertson, Magic Johnson, right. sort of presaging that happening right. on the men's side. Do you see that as just a logical, a logical next step for the oh, women's there's evolution? No, there's no question. There's no question that, you know, uh, I had a, a, a Denise Curry play from the UCLA mm -hmm. in, uh, in the Naismith Hall of Fame. You know, yeah. both of them, and she was six two, six three, and played like a guard to mm -hmm. play any one of the five positions. So that's what you see with Adela Don. That's what you see with a Brianna Stewart, and I think that's. The direction the game is going, I think it's wonderful. Can I ask you about UCLA? Because uh -huh. you know, I got to see them up close right. in the regionals, and you know, the, the, what very they're doing under the Corey close. Good. Very, I mean, very excited. You, yeah. do, do you think it's an opportunity to, if not, uh, do what you guys do, 27 and three, but to, yeah. to approach it? Well, I think yeah, I think they have an opportunity, and the, you know, the hard part is getting there. Mm -hmm. uh, well, but you don't have a chance to get there until you, you know, you put them in experience. And I think the fact that they were. They, there was a progression. They were a young team. They went to the WNIT and won it. They gained, took that experience to get into, you know, into the Elite Eight. Mm -hmm. Okay, maybe the Elite Eight experience is helping get to this a regional final or a final four. So it's a progression, and you, and you can't do anything other than get it from 
actually having that experience. What is it like to just watch this UConn team up close, just as a it's basketball a pleasure. person? It's a pleasure. It's a game the way the game should be played at a very efficient high level. And what about seeing your old team in seven, from the 76 year? You know, the amazing thing is, is that when you're part of a team that does something special, which obviously they did, there's a bond mm -hmm. that never goes away. So when everyone came back together, uh, most of us hadn't seen each other for maybe 20 years. So right. it was like we, it was like we just stepped, started just 20 years ago, and nothing, no time had passed in between. Well, I appreciate you taking no the time to.